there are certain points that we are to keep in mind before writing an invitation, especially a formal invitation. Points to be kept in mind, first of all. Word limit. We cannot go across 50 words. This is the limitation on us. Actually, we are to complete the whole invitation in just one sentence. You can see the language that I wrote in the invitation. Mr. and Mrs. Dash 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 cordially invite you on the auspicious occasion of the marriage of their son Dash 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 with Dash. Hardly, hardly 25 to 30 words I took to just complete the invitation. Right? In the same manner, the minimum words but with maximum clarity. This is what the aim of an invitation is. You are to invite the person, but you are to tell him each and every point with regard to the event you are going to invite him to. Right? So, first of all, word limit. We cannot go across 50 words. Right? Second, language. Language must be formal. This is the basic distinction between a formal and an informal invitation. And in informal invitation, you can use any sort of informal language. Hi, hello, such sort of words you can use. What are you doing? I'm having fun here. Such sort of things we can write. But in formal language, actually, we can never do it. We have to be very much strict where the language is concerned. And very contemporary language, which has been used since ages. In a very formal style. Right? Then... You must have seen that all the matter must be centrally aligned. Suppose you are to write six words in a particular phrase. So you are to design those six words in such a manner that those six words fall exactly in the center of in the center of the whole page of that box. Now invite inviter must be at the top person who is going to invite he must be at the top mr dash and dash cordially inviting that i have already told you and to be finished in a very single compact sentence very compact sentence right so they, these are the basic things that we are to keep in mind while writing a formal invitation now it is up to you to just go through and put me questions whatever are coming in your mind. Now the things lie on you. I shall give you one sample of this particular invita inv invitation along with this lesson. Okay? Thank you.